I'm Yu Wei. I'm from Statistics Laboratory of Information Security, Institute of Information Engineering, Chinese Academy of Sciences, Beijing, China. It's my honor to introduce our paper on EuroCrypt 2021. This paper is a collaboration work with Professor Xu Guangwu. My topic today is pre-computation scheme of window tall knife for Kobolis curves. The outline of my presentation is as follows. First, a brief introduction of this work. Secondly, we introduce Frobin's map tool. Thirdly, we introduce the complex conjugate of tau and present efficient formulae of the complex conjugate. Fourthly, we propose a novel pre-computation scheme. Later, we discuss scalar multiplication using the no, new proposed pre-computation scheme on Kobolitz curves. Finally, we conclude this work. First, we introduce our work. Elliptical curve cryptography has drawn extensive attention from the literature. The family of Kobolitz curves proposed by near Kobolitz are non super singular curves defined over binary fields. The arithmetic of Kobolitz curves has been of theoretical and practical significance since the start of elliptical curve cryptography. Four Kobolitz curves were recommended to be used in digital signature standard. K establish on the schemes and K management by NIST. This indicates that Kobolitz curves can still be useful in practice. Kobolitz curves has a computational advantage that a fast scalar multiplication can be achieved by replacing point doubling with Frobin's map. The Kobolitz curves are given as the following equation. These curves can be considered over the binary extension. Since EIF2 is a subgroup of EIF2 to the power of n, then there has a factor p. p is the cardinality of the main subgroup of the group of rational points on Kobolitz curves is of cryptographic interest to choose suitable M that make P a prime. In the rest of our discussion, we just consider cases that P is a prime. Using the where conjecture in the range of 160 to 2000, when a is equal to zero, p is a prime when m is equal to 233, 239, 277, 283. 
and so on. When i is equal to 1, p is a prime. When m is 163, 283, and so on. For Kobolis curves with a equal to 0, have been recommended by NIST. K233, K283, K2409, and K5711. When an integer n is represented as a binary representation, we usually employ Horner's algorithm to calculate the scalar multiplication. An example of 31 times p is shown as follows. One can call compute this scalar multiplication. from left to right, or right to left. Kobolitz proposed a method of computing scalar multiplication using Frobin's map. Salinas further developed an extremely efficient window tool knife to compute scalar multiplication. There are many related works about the scalar multiplication for Kobolitz curves. Dutch, Kher, and Sis discussed the multi scalar multiplications for Kobolitz curves on Eurocrypt 2009. Chost and Xu talked about the optimal pre-computation of window tall knife for Kobolitz curves in 2016. In 2017, Kher proposed tested mu phonom form elliptic curves to speed up scalar multiplication over binary fields. Tested the mu for norm for elliptic curves can also be applied to Kobolitz curves. This work will discuss the scalar multiplication using window tall knife. We propose new formulae of complex conjugate of Forbin's map. We design a novel pre-computation scheme and use it to improve the efficiency of scalar multiplication on Kobolitz curves. The Forbin's map tau is an endomorphism of EF2 to the power of M, which is defined as the following formula. For each point, we have this equation. Let M be the main subgroup of the group of rational points of Kobolitz curves namely the subgroup of all the p. There are some properties of M. Also in this work, we mainly work, work on M. Probably the first proposed a method of computing scalar multiplication n time p with P from the main subgroup of a Kobolitz curve, and by representing 
in as a representation of Forbin's map. Salinas further developed an extremely efficient window tool knife to compute the scalar multiplication, refinements, and extensions of Salinas methods were obtained by Black, Moti, and Xu. The procedure of window tall knife can be described as four steps. One, reduction. Two, window tall knife with widest omip, pre-computation. And fourth, employ Horner's algorithm to calculate scalar multiplication using window tall knife and pre-computation. In 2017, Geher introduced a twisted mu phonon from elliptic curves over binary field. Geher proved that twisted mu phonon from elliptic curves cover all the elliptic curve over binary fields recommended by NIST. A this curve using twisted mu four norm form is called a mu four coupled curve in this work. Because of its promising computational advantage, it's of great interest to consider the use of mu four coupled curves in the window tall knife, especially for the pre-computation part. Let the tall bar be the complex conjugate of tall, and P be a rational points, point on a coupled curve. Both events, Dimitri, Dash, and Psych, and Dash, Kher, and uh, psych use complex multiplication in double best representation to speed up scalar multiplication and multi scalar multiplication. Inspired by their elegant results, we introduce a new radix. Under this radix, we design new formulas, which only require two multiplication and two squares. Chosen three proved that one point addition is necessary for computing each pre-computation point. We use our new operation to replace point additions or mixed additions in pre-computation scheme. As the cost of one addition costs more than our new operation, our formulas save quite a few field operations. Our formulas for our new operation our new point operation are part of doubling formula. It may lead to a simplicity of the implementation. To take full advantage of our new operation, a novel pre-computation scheme is developed to several more field operations. Our pre-computation scheme only requires six multiplication plus six field squares for window tall knife with widest four. The cost of Salinas pre-computation scheme the cost of hanging many this one stone, 
this pre-computation scheme. The cost of chosen and choose pre-computation scheme and the cost of our pre-computation scheme are all in this table. The practical implementations show that our pre-computation is two times faster than chosen and choose pre-computation. And uh, at the present, our pre-computation scheme is the state of the art. In window tall knife, a big window wide, a big window wide corresponds to a sparse tall expansion for scalar multiplication. However, when shouldn't make the widths too big, as it would increase the pre-computation cost and affect the overall performance currently. The state-of-the-art pre-computation scheme suggests to use widths at most the six to achieve the best efficiency of scalar multiplication. Our pre-computation reduces the cost by half in most of the practical cases, namely scheme with widths 7 is about the same as the cost of existing pre-computation scheme with wider 6. This allows us to use a bigger window wide, for example 7, to get a faster scalar multiplication. The balance between the pre-computation part and the other part of scalar multiplication shows that the pre-computation takes a bigger radio of scalar multiplication than before. This is useful, especially for scalar multiplication with unfixed point. At present, scalar multiplication using our novel pre-computation scheme and with a bigger window wide is the state of the art on Kabbalist curves. Now, we briefly conclude this work. This paper introduces new radius on Kabbalist curves. Efficient formulae of the new radius are then derived and use the novel pre-computation scheme. Our pre-computation scheme is about two times fast compared to the state of the art, state of the art technical of pre-computation scheme in the literature. The impact of our new efficient pre-computation is also reflected by the significant improvement of scalar multiplication. Traditionally, window tall knife with widths at most 6 is used to achieve the best scalar multiplication. Because of the dramatic cost reduction of the proposed pre-computation scheme, we are able to increase the widths for window tall knife to 7 for better scalar multiplication. This indicates that the pre-computation part becomes more important in performing scalar multiplication. With our efficient pre-computation scheme and the new window wires, our scalar multiplication runs in at least 
85% the time of Cahill's work, combining the best previous pre-computation. Our results push the scalar multiplication of Cobley's curves, a very well studied and long standing research area, to a significant new stage. This is all I want to share. Any questions, please email me. Thanks for your time. See you.